This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by Purse.io to beat the status quo. Make sure you report that. Report what exactly? Okay. These were the videotapes. That were, these were the letters that were. Okay. Just make sure that you. This is not a help. Hey, this city councilor, I, I once did a video where, where I was at the, uh, uh, a an event where she didn't really want me to be there. Well, later on, I put the video together and I just, you know, pretty much aired all the video that I had and threw it on the air and with an explanation of where where it was and what the context was. And later on, I, I bumped into her. Here's me bumping on, into her about a month later. Hi, Pamela. I got a question for you about that EMT that allegedly swiped a camera the other day, a city EMT, Keene City EMT. And, you know, she, she told me, you know, I actually kind of appreciated the way you put that video together. You know, she said, I guess she was indicating that she must have thought that I was going to edit it crazily to make her look terrible. And although maybe she looked a little bad for what she was doing, it was just video of what happened. And I think she instinctively understood that, and she actually thanked me for the way that I just showed what happened. Videotaping. Well, that phenomenon has got to be present in the minds of police, where you kind of just show what happened, and they know that's kind of what's going on, with me anyway, if they're watching. Maybe they also instinctively understand, in some cases, that what I'm doing is sort of, <laughs> it's sort of police work in reverse, right? Because I, I, I always, I guess while running this camera, uh, on the Ridley Report, I've thought of myself as being sort of a poor man's cop. Uh, no, I'm not going to taser anybody, but... Hey, Dr. Rosengren? I if I may ask, what, to what extent are you guilty of funding the torture in Iraq? I'm not going to talk about Iraq. I work for the Federal Reserve. But doesn't the Federal Reserve make that possible? I am still making some sort of effort to hold bad guys accountable for their actions, and that's what cops are supposed to do, and maybe they sense that I'm trying to do that, too. Maybe they sense that I respect the idea of someone having a gun and arresting burglars or rapists. Because I surely do. Then there's this thing I call the Irwin Rommel phenomenon. Uh, the British soldiers in World War II and Mr. Churchill himself all held uh, uh, Marsh, uh, was he General or Marshal? We'll call him Field Marshal Rommel. They held him in high regard partly because they respected his fighting skill, but also because he had a very chivalrous attitude towards fighting. He was not willing to commit any atrocities or have his, have his men commit atrocities. So you don't know that, for instance, about someone who's claiming to be your friend or someone who's in, you know, in a squad car with you even. As a cop, you don't know that about someone who you're you know, talking with on the street. You don't know what they'll do to you because they've never been your enemy openly. Since I'm at least openly the opponent of police, they know what I'm willing to do to them. And they know that it is limited and civilized in nature, because they've been watching me do it for seven or eight years. You learn who someone is best by fighting them. Erwin Rommel's circumstances gave him the chance to be a terrible tyrant in North Africa, and he didn't generally take that opportunity. My circumstances give me the opportunity to make people look really bad uh, by twisting their words and editing in video that undermines what they're saying, cutting out anything they say that might be effective, cutting out anything that might make me look bad. Help! Someone help me! I'm being arrested! Help me! I would like to think I don't really ever do any of those things. And as a result, I've only been arrested once uh, without essentially choosing the arrest over uh, some other option. You know, for instance, I, I was arrested uh, in Nashua for uh, failing to identify myself. But that was sort of a surprise. That was police really overdoing it. The other time I was arrested was for refusing to pay a fine. And then a, a third time I basically chose to be arrested by choosing to go to a place where videography was banned and uh, filming. So there isn't any sense that I've ever had of police targeting me, coming after me, going out of their way to make me suffer. And again, 
I, get, I think it's because of these factors aforementioned. Imitate them or don't, as you see fit. I'm guessing you wouldn't want to save 20% on Amazon.com. You wouldn't want to be able to use bitcoins instead of dollars. And you wouldn't want decentralized commerce. If I'm right in these assumptions, well, you certainly wouldn't want to visit purse.io to beat the status quo.